Hello YouTube, Dawson Rider here with another figure arts review, this time of two exclusives, the Zek Trooper and the Neo Zek Trooper from Kamen Rider Kabuto. Yep, they were both exclusives, um, yeah, let's go ahead and just go right into it, um, because they're, you know, so much of the same, they're obviously they're gonna be in the same review, uh, let's go over regular Zek Trooper first with his box. Standard boxing here, a uh, picture of the Zek Trooper going all melee. Um, this is where the figure goes, obviously. Um, on the bottom here, you know, it says Bandai Collector Shop Kabuto logo, Bandai logo. Uh, just says Zek Trooper on the side, Zek Trooper, so you don't forget. Um, on the side here, here is with his gun. Um, here he is with all the stuff he comes with. And another melee pose, um, another gun pose. Description of what figure arts is. Um, I've watched Kabuto, I don't remember them going melee all that often. Um, I'm sure they did, but I just don't remember all that often. Um, let me just go ahead and show what he comes with. Just I'm lazy and leaving it in here. It doesn't come with a whole lot. He comes with two, like, um, I'm gonna shake your hands, hands. Um, and then two fists, which were on him. And then he comes with one holding this trigger thing and, and then the gun, which will go on his fist in place. Or his, uh, wrist joint in place of a fist. Um, I went ahead and did it for both of them already, because it took me about, uh, seven minutes each to get them on there, pain in the ass. It was like 9.13 at night when I put on, uh, Neozex, and I finished at 9.20, so, uh, yeah. They're really hard to do, I didn't want to eat up camera time on it. Um, so let's go ahead and look at the Zek Trooper. Um, he's a pretty bland looking figure, let me set this down for a sec. Um, he's just, obviously the Shadow Trooper's already been released, and I've done a review of him. Um, he's really not all that different. The only reason they released Shadow was because of the Zabi thing rather than this. But he's just really, really basic. Not a whole lot to say. I can't necessarily fault him for being basic because that's what he's supposed to be. But anyway, uh, there's a Zek logo on his shoulder pad right here. Um, his arms are nice with the, like, the cloth uh, effect, which is, looks good. Um, then here's, you know, his, uh, what you call it? Gloves. Um, no logo over here. And they are shoulder pads, which after seeing Gills... I mean, obviously these are made with four gills, I kind of wish they didn't really need shoulder pads, but these could all been one piece. Um, then he's got his vest, bulletproof armor, which is kind of nice, it's got a sparkliness to it, kind of like, uh, Shadow Trooper. Um, here's his Zekt belt, it's a Zekt, it's nicely sculpted, it's all silver. His pants, which, uh, have some nice cloth, cloth, cloth effects going on, and his boots. And then here's his cannon, uh, which, like I said, is in the place of a fist, um, nicely painted and all that. I'm really not a whole lot to mention about it, and then this folds in and out so that he can hold it. Um, that was a weird pose. Let me go over his his face. I'm really not a whole lot to say about the, this other than, um, you know, it's all black. He's got black everywhere. His eyes are shiny, which I'll mention, which is why that's important in a minute. Um, he's got the silver, uh, you know, antennas, and then the red little dot here. They're flexible. Um, don't mess with them too much, but they're not too breakable. Uh, the next guy actually a nice detail on it. I should do articulation first. I'm kind of doing things weirdly. And the lighting is showing up weird. Anyway, articulation-wise, nice joint all around here. Uh, swivels, double joint here, swivels. Uh, waist articulation, head 360, up and down articulation, nice. Um, leg articulation, nice joint here, and it pops off, which I'll explain in a second. Uh, double joint here, uh, no necessarily swiveling. Um, swiveling at the foot. And he's got the toe joints. And I should mention that this guy is all plastic. No die cast metal in him at all. Um, and this I had the same problem with my Shadow Zek Trooper. Uh, legs are super loose. This one not so bad, but this one's loose. I didn't think it quite as bad until it popped off the first time. That was the second time. So anyway, like I said here, his eyes are done in a glossy material, which are kind of shiniest. I don't know what's wrong. I don't know the camera's being weird on me. I'm going to get some better lighting in the next few reviews. Um, here's Shadow. Um, the, as you can see, the he has shiny eyes here, and here he does, this has a non-shiny eye, so I don't know whether that was a design choice for the trooper, or they just forgot to include it, or thought it would be better when they redid it. But anyway, uh, you can see that the body is pretty much the same on these two guys. The only difference here being, uh, this has uh, a yellow stripe running down the side for, for uh, Shadow, and then he's got the yellow color here, and, and then his mouth is silver. And, his is black, so there's really not a whole lot of difference. Except for the shiny eyes, which I think do look better, which is really nice. Um, one of my other issues with him and all the Zek Troopers is when you, know, when you bend their joints, you can really see the joints. So he really looks only okay standing up with the nice cloth effect, and I can't even believe I talked about almost five minutes about him. So let's go ahead and go for Neo Zek Trooper. Um, nice shot of him right here. 
Um, Neo Zach Trooper, Bad at Collector Shop, Kabuto. Um, here we go, Neo Trooper. Uh, on the back, there's a cool Zach logo on the back. Does it have that on the back of this? Yes, it does. Yes, it does. I forgot to mention it. Whatever. Uh, picture of him with the gun. What he comes with. Epic pose. Uh, this makes him look a little bit more shiny than he is in person, but whatevs. Um, accessories. Here we have the sh I'm going to shake your hands, hands, the fists, and then uh, one of them, which is over here. And then, you know, the holding, uh, the gun hand, and then the gun itself. So now silence when I put this away. Yeah, I'm going to try to get lighting sometime in the next three to four reviews. Actually, my light lighting might already been changed for Axel and Luna, depending on when this goes up. So I'll just shut the fuck up. Anyway, here is uh, Neo Trooper, which he's actually my favorite of the three. I'm not going to bother going over articulation again, since he's uh, the same. But um, differences being, um, well, it's the same here, Zek logo. His gauntlets are silver, um, and his chest armor is silver and blue, with this blue stripe. And it's really nice looking silver. Um, it's got kind of, not as much of a sparkle to it, but it just looks really nice. Um, his face also has those glossy eyes, um, unlike the shadow version. Um, differences, you know, in the face being that his mouth is a darker gray. Um, his whole helmet's silver, obviously, and then he's got the blue design around here. So it looks really nice. And then he's got the silver boots, too. Uh, same articulation, although should I, should I should mention that all my joints on this guy are actually really tight. So I'm really happy, since he's my favorite, that all of his joints are tight. Um, the gun is the same detailing, um, same articulation, so really not a whole lot to go over, other than I, this guy looks really, really good, actually. Oh, I forgot to mention, one of my favorite things is the belt here. Um, Zach Trooper and Shadows are both silver. Or no, it's not. Shadow Troopers is uh, got the black thing in here with the Zect. But um, it's got it's all black, and then it's got the nice Zect uh, done in silver, which is a nice detail. A little sloppy, but whatevs. So, yeah, that's about it. Um, let me bring in the other Zek Trooper just for the final verdict so I have them all together. And I got a little more time now. I can't even believe the review of this guy is going to go as long as it is. Um, here we go. Let me bring in the other dude. Here we go. Uh, so there's all three of them so far. Um, I'm not going to buy an army. Uh, the camera's looking weird. I'm going to move it closer so I can get a better resolution. Um, overall, these guys are okay. Um, I got a pretty good price on them, and I'm a completist, so I'm happy that I have them. But if you are shopping just for whatever figure arts you like, um, I can't really recommend the Zek Troopers. They're kind of the weakest figure arts, just in terms of, you know, the joints showing up weird when you bend them, and a lot of loose leg problems. Um, if you had to get one out of the three, and you're not planning on getting Zobby, then I would say get the Neo Zek Trooper, because I think he looks the best, and I haven't had any issues with him. Um... But, yeah, they're not going for too bad of a price, but I just can't really recommend them if you, unless you're a hardcore completist like me. But, um, definitely, I think he's the best of the bunch. So, yeah, they're, they're okay. So, nothing spectacular. So, uh, that is about it. You can check out the podcast at RidersRangersAndRambles.com. Subscribe to that through the iTunes or the RSS feed, and please help us with the donations. So, that is it for this time, and it's Dawson Rider signing out.